I got up at a decent hour this morning and ready to leave before 7. I swapped out the SD card right in time. I don't remember what the last video clips or pictures were. I'm sure they were of the sunset, but I got her fixed now. Ready to get going. I got a liter and a half, eight miles to the next water source. Coming from that way. Somewhere over there is China Lake. Actually, probably a lot of that. Going around that way. Came from over there. I'm going over there somewhere. I think I see a trail. Came from over there barely make out the trail some of those rock fields or scree fields they weren't hard to go by they had the trail pretty well made but I crossed over right there and yeah I've already seen this from another angle I still think it looks cool and don't worry I'll get a better view of that whenever I get over there I'm going around that way. Been doing some uphill, but most of it hasn't been that steep, so it's nothing to cry about. That's Owen's Peak up there. And I'm gonna go over and around. And this is Mount Jenkins. I didn't realize it, and apparently I went past a trail that would have gone to the peak. But I wouldn't have hiked it anyway. I've got enough up and down. Sierras are waiting, like 40 some, 50 miles, came from over there, see the trail, and it's 9 o'clock, I've only done about 3.5 miles, I think that's like Inyo Kern and China Lake down there, uh, have really good signal here while I can see town, and I just got done sitting and responding to a bunch of comments. Folks, I love the comments. I love responding to them. You've been very encouraging and kind. Love all the suggestions for how I can get better. And I'm going to go around. I'll get another shot of those rocks over there, Owen Peak and that. Uh, once I go around the corner, I doubt I'll have signals. So just again, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I Watching, subscribing, commenting, that all means a lot to me. And I thank you. I'm sure I'll get another view of this whenever I get over a little bit closer and on around that corner over there. But going down and around there, 
and I'm starting a five and a half mile mostly downhill stretch. Kind of looking forward to it. Not going to think about the uphill after that. I'm also uh, four and a half miles from the next water source. So I drank another half liter, still have a half liter. So, highlight of my day, another hiker passed, and he said that my video of the Mission Creek segment and the ridge walk to get past it helped him because I was a little bit ahead of him, and it's really great to think that I'm helping folks, so... I'll get another shot of this, I'll get a little bit closer. Well, I guess I, coming from over there, and this part hasn't really started going downhill a whole lot yet, been more flat. This might be my last good chance to get a view of this. Because the trail's going around there, and it looks like I'm getting into some trees. Like I said, I'm having a good day. Might not have big miles yet, but it's still been a good day. Coming from over there, leaving that valley behind. Owens Peak is over there, so I'm glad I got a shot. And now I've got a new view going down this way. Having a good day so far. Now I'm going down. It's been kind of hot and exposed for the last few miles. But here's a water source. There's a spring that's off trail about a quarter mile. There's talk of it having traces of uranium in it. And I don't really need any of that, so I'm going to get some water. There's more water in five miles, five to six miles, and then it's like an 11 mile stretch. And some at some point I'll have to start thinking about where I want to camp, but it's 11 o'clock. I've done eight miles. I don't need to be thinking about camp just yet. So I took like a half hour break drink a liter. I've got a liter for five miles. This should be no problem. Just kind of feeling drowsy. Not even like physically tired. Just stayed up late messing with the video. Then was up off and on because I was transferring files over to a thumb drive because the phone was getting full. I still had videos uh, from the Appalachian Trail on here. So I might think about taking a siesta if I find a good place to lay down so this is the spring it's supposed to be fairly nice trough uh, but it's a quarter mile downhill I already got water and they say there's traces of uranium in it pretty sure I drank that water last year or not last year 2017 but I'm not too worried about it coming up on a good view Heading down that way, 
I don't have very much downhill left. And it's going to be a couple miles of up and then another couple miles down. Then quite a bit of up. Came down. I'm not sure if it was from there. Anyway, came around and over here. It's warming up. 12.30 and starting the uphill. And here's a spot, but I don't really feel so drowsy anymore, so I think I'd rather just get the uphill done. I came from over there. About a quarter mile and 70 foot up. I'm gonna cross right over there. But I figured I should get the camera out because part of the view over here behind me won't be visible from over there. Done with most of this section of uphill. Saw poppies. I hadn't seen them for a little while. Here. I think you can see where it was a lot steeper at the beginning. Coming around there. Some clouds in the sky. Haven't been underneath one yet, but I'm sure it'll happen. Old view. Man, the wind seemed to stop as soon as I got up here. I had to use the external mic before. Here's the new view. down that way. This is Spanish Needle Creek. There's more water in about a mile and a quarter and the trail starts going up. So I'm gonna get a drink. I don't think I'm gonna fill up yet. It's uh, about 2.30. I know I'm gonna slow down once I start going uphill. Came down from over there. I'm gonna go around. So, several miles ago, just around that point up there, crossed over, did some switchbacks, came down. Over there was where I, I just filled up with some, or got some water. And whenever I came to this valley, I kind of thought I was going to go down that way. But instead, here, going to go over this way some, switch back, and eventually just the other side of that mound right there. And cross over to the other side in about four or five miles. There's a breeze and I like it. This is another fork of the Spanish Needle Creek. But there's more water in like another half mile. And I drank a liter at the last spot. So pretty spot. So Here's another creek or a stream. And I'm glad because it just kept me from carrying water up that last mile and a quarter. Uh, parts of that were a little steep. And I'm going to keep going up after I get water. It's about 11 miles to the next water on the map. Although there might be water in 8. It's 3.30. I 
I doubt I make it that far, so I'm gonna fill up and I'll be carrying a lot of water uphill. So, it took me about 20 minutes to filter a gallon of water and eat a few little fun-sized payday candy bars. In the next four miles, I have 16 foot or 1600 foot of elevation increase. And my pack feels heavy, but it's getting on four o'clock. It'll be flat spot somewhere. Still going up. Got about a mile to the next campsite and two miles to the one after that. I'm coming up from down there, way over there. I'm going around and over there. I know you can't see anything because of the sun, but anyway, it's getting rocky. So I'm heading over that way and in six tenths of a mile, I will cross right over there. And there is a campsite over there. Wasn't thinking I'd stop there, but you know, I'm starting to feel more like I could stop early today. My throat's been really itchy, so I'm drinking more water. I think I brought an extra liter anyway, so I wonder if that's smoke out there. Kind of neat looking down the valley. Done with that valley, and I made it to this ridge. There's supposed to be a lot of campsites around. Another hiker just passed me. And I think she's going and scouting for a good spot over there. So I get to decide if I want to do another mile and a quarter or stop here. New valley, though. It's uh, like six o'clock, got a couple hours of daylight left. Another 400 foot of elevation increase in a mile and a quarter isn't going to hurt me. There's some other hikers behind me too, the ones that camped with me last night. They might want to stop up there and I would like a quieter campsite. I have had to go over, under, around, and through a lot of blowdowns today. But I also haven't seen any damage from dirt bikes. So I consider it an even trade. So, how great is this view? And that'll be the direction of sunrise tomorrow, if I'm up to see it. And then, yeah, the wind started getting pretty strong as soon as I got up to this little saddle, ridge, whatever. But I'm going to bank on this tree giving me enough shelter that I sleep good. And even if other hikers show up with all this wind, I won't hear them anyway. Let's see, did I miss anything? I did say I wanted my campsite to be over there. But as I am wont to do, I changed my mind. I don't think this is much of a windbreak, but just this little clump of trees. Feels like less wind in here. And I'll have shade earlier. Pretty sure this is gonna be my final decision.